Room on the Broom by 3R. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair and a braid down her back. Oh, how the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off her hat. Cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with a paw in his jaws. He dropped it politely and then eagerly said as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head. I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there any room on the broom for a dog like me? Is there any dog clambered on. The witch tapped her broomstick and they were gone. Over the fields in the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her braid just like that. Down! cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said, as the witch tied the braid in the bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Is there any room on the broom The witch, so the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped her broomstick and they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the bird shrieked for glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. It's down! cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden out of a pond, leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on the fold of her cloak. I'm a frog as clean as can be. Is there any room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes. Is there any room for me? Is there any room for me? On the broom, on the broom. Is there any room for me? Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped her broomstick and they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into the bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a crowd at the cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. The dragon drew near, she, and with a glint in his eyes, and said, just this once, I'll have witch without fries. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads and the wings of a bird. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch, and it said to the dragon, jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and who said the frog, the dog. Thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you I'd be in the dragon's inside. She filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something everyone. 
throw something in. So the frog found a lily. The cat found a cone. The bird found a twig. And the dog found a bone. They all threw them in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Diggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent room with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird, and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped her broomstick and they were gone. Thank you.